Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Virgos for November 2019. This is going to be a who's coming towards you forecast. So keep in mind this is general since it is so many people checking out uh, this message. It's going to be bits and pieces that are not going to be for you and are going to be meant for other people. So keep that in mind. If you are someone who does want a personal reading, that information will be listed below for you so that you can get a more accurate session. Um, also, if you are someone who does like intention oils, uh, somebody who likes crystal healing jewelry and all of that sort, I would definitely check that out on my site as well. Okay. So what's going on with my Virgos for November 2019 and who's coming towards them? Give me five cards. take these two right here okay so let's go ahead and get straight into the reading so the first thing we're going to cover is the person who's coming towards you so we do have soulmate and we do have the chariot and with this virgos this could be a cancer that's coming towards you doesn't have to be but with the soulmate card this is definitely somebody who you have a deep connection with okay this is beyond any sort of like physical love this is beyond anything that's really um out of a place of ego this is like a, a soul connection now, with this soul connection that you may have with this person, I feel like there's now being some sort of sudden movement that's taking place in the month of November. Um, this movement could be you guys moving forward beyond the confines of like the issues that may have been present in your relationship. For others of you, you guys could be both, excuse me, you guys could both be two people who left uh, very like rocky situations. And now you guys are just trying to, you know, focus on the connection you guys are trying to build for others of you. There could just be some forward movement happening with the soulmate connection, uh, with the page of wands, there may be some back and forth communication happening here, uh, passionate back and forth communication where you guys will be trying to put things in a space of, um, you're trying to put things back in order within your relationship, especially if you're dealing with another earth sign, fire sign, or like I said, a cancer. Now, when it comes to your person's feelings for you, I do have the calling you your soulmate card and it's clarified by the ace of wands. So their feelings for you, they definitely feel like you're a, again, somebody who they have a strong connection with. There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of love. I also get a sense as well that this person has been trying to manifest you back into their life. Um, this person may have really felt kind of lost without you for some time. And it's like now they're trying to manifest you back into their life and really wanting to start fresh and really wanting to get back to a better page here. Um, hold on. Uh, clarify that I have two coins in reverse. So it's like they may have been going back and forth on whether or not they should start fresh with you. But I feel like they're finally making that decision. Uh, coming into the month of November. Yeah. With the judgment card. So yeah, after a level of reflection, self reflection, they are going to make some sort of decision to try to start fresh or to, um, see if they could see where things could go with you. If you'll be open, of course. Now, when it comes to their actions towards you, I do have the make the effort card and the four of cups. So again, like I said, this person is like at the beginning of the month of November, this person may not be 100% forthright with coming forward. I feel like this person may be struggling a little bit with that. Um, this person also may be in a space of, again, wanting to make sure you're not going to just reject them if they come forward. So they may be kind of not saying anything or doing anything until they feel like there's not going to be issues with them coming at you, if that makes sense. Because they feel like you're really not going to be open and they don't want to get rejected. Nobody wants to get rejected. So that may make them not really come forward as fast as they'd like to. 
So keep that in mind if you are somebody who has been waiting on a, a, or not a Virgo, but if you've been waiting for somebody to come back around and they haven't, this is why. Now, when it comes to the advice I can give you with what you're going through in your love life in the month of November, I do have retreat and the king of the ocean. So with this, I feel like there's a need for you to make sure any sort of romantic connections you have with people that you're not um, doing too much with them. And when I say that, that's like overly posting them, overly getting yourself involved until you know for sure things are going in the right direction. Also with retreat, like I said, spending more alone time between you and your partner, not really having social media in your business, not really having other people in your business, not really, you know worried about other people but the relationship that you guys are trying to build in general and also for some of you if there is some sort of relationship that did split up for a lot of you you need to consider whether or not this is something that you genuinely want to restore order in or a situation that can genuinely have order put into the situation or order um order back up under the circumstances i hope i'm using the right words i'm sorry guys uh, if you're somebody who's wanting things to change where things are kind of, you know, a little bit kind of fucked up right now, there's a need for you to really consider like, okay, is this possible? Or is this just me putting myself back into a, a level of issues? So really consider that. Also for some of you, if it's not you putting yourself into issues, it's just, you're very conflicted and you have to sort, sort of figure out what you're going to do moving forward. Now, when it comes to the obstacle that may come up, I do have deception and I also have the hangman. So with this, this may have been some lies somebody told in this connection here. You could be feeling like somebody that you're dealing with is a little bit deceptive or they don't know how to tell the truth. If the truth looked them right in the eye for some of you, that's how you're feeling. For others of you, you feel like there's just certain things this person has not disclosed. And until they disclose it, you may not be wanting to open up to them or you're not willing to really budge when it comes to the way that you view things. Um, especially if this is like other people attached to this connection as well. This could be a fire sign. But I'm just getting a sense where the opportunities opportunity is there to fix the relationship it's just one person has to be on guard or not one person but both people need to be willing to actually put the work in to fix things so let's take a look at the advice i can give you so what we have for that we have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness, love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. I also have, when it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So instead of being hard on each other, especially if you are dealing with a partner where you guys can have moments of just, you know, going at each other neck for neck, instead of doing that, try a different approach. Because for some of you, that approach has been the approach you guys have been um, using for a while and it hasn't helped the relationship get stronger. So instead of being hard on each other, instead of being like, okay, you're a piece of shit, you don't know how to do this, you don't know how to do that. Don't do that. Make sure that you are a voicing your opinion in a, I don't want to say in a, a, cause I don't want you guys to think that I'm saying don't express your opinion, but don't do it in a, a way where it's like, it's coming off like you're being critical or you're being naggy. Um, also, you know what the right or wrong choice is for you. Uh, more than anything, you know what you've gone through with the person that you've been dealing with. Or you know if you you know what you've been going through in your love life just up until this point. And there is no right or wrong choice. You just need to make a decision based off of what your understanding is of the situation and what's going to be best for you moving forward. Now, that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this. I really, really hope that you were to able or you were able to take something from this reading. Uh, if you did, definitely make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And again, if you do want a personal session with me or if you want to purchase crystal healing jewelry, intention oils, whatnot, uh, definitely make sure you check out that information listed below. 
and I will see you in the next one.